some 1,800 years ago. The world was in chaos as a group of heroes vied for power. Cao Cao, the anti-hero, Liu Bei, who vowed to restore the Han Empire to its former glory. Three generations, all fighting for power. Sun Jin, Sun Tzu, Sun Quan. Zhang Jiao, who envisioned a world ruled by the yellow turbans. Dong Zhuo, the evil tyrant. Lu Bu, the greatest warrior in all of China. The expert generals, Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. Gong Sun Zan and his white riders. Rival warlords, Liu Biao and Liu Zhang. and many brave officers, retainers, commanders, and beautiful women. These stars, who shone so brightly in an age of chaos and darkness, once again have the chance to shine as the curtain rises for this, the final battle. Hello, I am Stephen Hawking. I am going to be playing Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. This historical game is based in ancient China where a bunch of people who I cannot pronounce correctly fight each other for Chinese supremacy. Let's get started. Douchebags. I am going to be playing a fictional scenario where all major rulers will have a single city on the map. This will provide balance and unpredictability in that we all start with one city and no one ruler will have an initial advantage. As such, this game will not be a true historic fact-based scenario. To provide additional entertainment, I have created an additional 150 officers that will be included in the game. These officers are a mix of well-known historic and entertainment-based figures that range from Genghis Khan to Justin Bieber. Under this scenario, there are five empty cities that do not have any associated ruler. I will populate each one of these with a select rulers and seven officers now. As you can see, I have chosen myself as one of the rulers with my starting city in Yong'an, which is located near the central west portion of the map. The other cities have been populated with George Lucas to the north, Donald Trump to the east, Satan to the far east and Jay Wow Wow to the far northeast. Note that specific likes and dislikes have been included for each officer. So, for example, Barack Obama will not get along with George W. Bush and Rihanna will not get along with Chris Brown. Of course, I will be playing as me, Stephen Hawking, because I have a large penis. Also, because of my big penis, I will be playing on the advanced difficult level. This gives the computer players resource advantages. Due to the large number, officer deaths will be chosen to occur at a higher frequency. All other settings will remain at default categories. It should also be noted that due to the fictional scenario, aging will not occur as part of this game. Which is good because I am already old. Let's get started. Bitches. Rachel Ma Dow says, Before we begin please let me briefly explain the circumstances of our forces. First of all we do not currently have a strategist so you should appoint one without delay. Currently we do not have a rival force in particular. Currently we do not have friendly relations with any one particular force. You must remunerate the officers with gold revenue comes in monthly. You will also require food to maintain your armies and this comes every season. Be careful not to run into any food shortages. The last force to remain standing on the continent will become the supreme ruler of the next generation if you would like this conqueror to... Shut up. Okay. Let's assess our situation ourselves. We are located near the middle of China, but protected by mountains directly to the north and south. Wuxian is a small sea fort which is currently unoccupied along a river body. This leads directly to my closest rival to the east, Lu Bei. To the west is my other rival Deng Ai. Both of these people will probably be complete assholes and attack me as soon as they can. But for now we have time to develop our city. First let's promote my strategist to Rachel Maddow. She will give me hints as to whether something will work or not. Next let's give ranks to my officers. 
I will make the smart people advisors that will include Bill Clinton, Rachel Maddow, Sigmund Freud and Charles Darwin. Solid Snake and Chris Ronaldo are good at fighting and will be made officers. Bob Marley is kind of useless but I will also make him an officer for now. Being an officer allows you to lead more troops. Being an advisor gives bonus to politics. Next let's make sure my officers like me by assessing their loyalty. It looks like Bill Clinton doesn't like me that much. I will give him a 100 bucks to increase his loyalty however that ass had better earn it. Finally, I will search my city for more officers to recruit. Rachel Maddow will let me know if there is a good chance of finding an officer. Excellent. I found Sidney Crosby. Unfortunately, I couldn't make him want to join my army. Fuck you Sidney Crosby. Each action requires the use of action points. The number of points I have are visible in the upper left corner. When your action points run out you cannot perform any more tasks this turn. Therefore, let's just move on to the next turn. It often takes a while before an officer you recruited will be willing to join your army. And fucking Sidney Crosby is no exception. Let's just continue to look for more officers. Sigmund Freud found King Kion. Damn it. That fucker doesn't want to join me yet either. Fuck you King Cock fuck. Okay. I need to start developing the city. The most important development right now is a market because it gives you money. Farms are less important because you can always just use money to buy food. Eventually we will need to develop barracks to recruit troops and blacksmiths to make weapons. Fuck you both. Bill Clinton found my key. Holy hell this guy has a 100 for leadership. With these kind of skill he will for certain be an excellent asset to my- Damn it. Fuck you by key. And fuck you Bill Clinton for doing a shitty job recruiting these people. Anyways. Let's continue to develop the city with markets. We're going to need lots of money soon. Rachel Maddow doesn't think we'll find any more people here. That really sucks Pandal balls because none of the people I found want to join me. Need more markets. Training the troops increases their will. The higher the will the higher number of technical attacks they can perform. It is advantageous to make sure they remain trained. Excellent. Solid Snake found James Bond. But like the rest of these fucks he probably won't want to join me. Yeah fuck you too James Bond. Inspections are another task that is needed periodically. The higher the order the more money you get each month. A low order can result in several undesirable results. Fuck all you officers that don't want to join me. Maybe I can recruit Fuzan from Heejin. His loyalty is potentially low enough. 
It will take some time to find out. Good luck Bob Marley. Let's continue. In the next episode, Bitches.